we've we've launched a a campaign on our Nova ESS. Hey guys, so I'm back home from the show. I want to just jump in for two seconds and just say, uh, sorry about the video quality. This is my first time working with one of these 360 cameras, and I had the wire in the way and a lot of shake and stuff like that. But nonetheless. This is going to be a booth walkthrough where you can actually see this gentleman go through and talk about the new products they have. We didn't hit all of them, but uh, it's a good overview. I'm also going to have individual videos uh, of each of the other products a couple different times. Um, James, the uh, the CEO of C uh, of EG4, is also going to talk about this and uh, have a video from him. We're also going to have a video from Braden, and we're going to have a lot of stuff. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, stick around, and I think you're going to find some really interesting information about the new products coming out later in Q4 and then also next year. Uh, this is going to be available roughly beginning of Q2 next year, uh, but all customers who are looking to, to do TPO options, things like that, where DCA compliance is really, really important there, um, not so much of the cash in the, in the loan customer, but the TPO customers, this is going to be our solution for them. Uh, we partner with uh, another company in the U.S. that's manufacturing cells, and we've acquired a, uh, for lack of a better term, a metric butt ton of them. Um, and uh, this is going to be the solution. So a 16K output inverter with 16K uh, of storage as well, um, 100 volts at, at that point. So smaller wire sizes, easier to, to install, cheaper to install, things okay. like that. Uh, and again, like I said, this will be available in the beginning of Q2. This is our very first uh, um, edition uh, of this. Or, uh, so, yeah, yeah, this is, we're excited about it. I think it's got a select bit of customers in the market who they're not interested in going to the bottom. They're not interested in, in you know, making things even even more affordable, which is what a lot of our line is kind of traditionally done, to just be, be more affordable and more attainable for everybody. Okay. Um, so yeah, that, that's that's what we're doing there. Uh, if you guys want to walk this way with me, actually, we'll just rotate right around here. So, the beloved mini splits. Uh -huh. For the longest time, I know everybody's been asking. They're like, well, yeah. when are we going to do multi-zone? You know, I want to hook one of these up for the whole house. Let's pull the five-ton out of there. Who cares if it's not running or it's inefficient? This is our multi-zone uh, um, option for that. So we can control three different zones, as you see here. we got one in the living room, one in the back room, and one in the front room. we got it all covered. What's the BTU? BTU on this is a two-ton unit, so it's 24K. Uh, still going to be powered from the MC4s over here on the side. Nice. And during the day, we're completely off the grid for all our heating and cooling needs. Fantastic. Very, That's very awesome. cool. Yes, yes. Uh, this will also be available um, end of Q4 hey, is when we should have this oh, available. Q4. Q4. This year? This year. All right. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, we can slide this way. We got some more new stuff. So for those customers who are uh, squeezing those pennies and, and, and they're in a pinch or say they're um, build a hunting cabin um, or, or, you know, just an addition that they're wanting to throw the heat and cooling on. We've got a window unit that can be powered from solar now. So PV Direct yes. window unit. Yes, PV Direct window unit, that is correct. Roughly about 500 square foot covered by each one of these. Um, so it's gonna require less solar than our traditional two-ton unit over there. This is called 9K VTU. Yep, yep, that's, uh, that's about exactly what it's looking at. Uh, but a really cool little solution for, for add-ons, mother-in-law suites, things like that. That is cool. This is the first time I've ever actually put my hands on this product or okay. seen this. Yeah, so a lot of new stuff we're launching uh, this week at RE+. Plus. Uh, it's exciting. Again, availability in Q4. Okay. Now, let's slide this way. And we'll just stay over here. Actually, let's go right here. That looks different. So this is going to be our 100 volt, uh, or sorry, not 100 volt. It's going to be 48 volts still. Okay. So compatible with all of our 48 volt inverters. It's going to be 16K though. So we've upped the amp hours from the 280 that we had on the other 14.3 to 360. It's going to give you 16 kilowatts of storage there. Okay. Um, still going to, to focus on, on bringing that price point down as, as competitive as we can at all times, obviously. Um, so the same footprint and everything as the other all-weather battery, um, just more efficient and more storage. Very cool. What's the weight on that? 
300 pounds or so, you know. Uh, so a small fella could move this around no problem. And I see the Flex Boss 18 now has an EMP hardened sticker on it. Is, I know, has anything changed or is it just certified? Nothing has changed whatsoever. All we did was send it off to get certified. All of our uh, hardware internals inside of all of our inverters are EMP hardened. Um, it's just the quality of the equipment we use to build these, these pieces of machinery out. So my question would be, why is this 16 kilowatt hour battery so much smaller than the high voltage or the 100 volt? 16 kilowatt hour battery. Different footprint, different cells, um, all tier one, uh, but we've, we've uh, with the DCA compliant, those are all US made cells. Okay. Um, all of lithium iron yep. phosphate? Yep, all okay. same chemistry, lithium iron phosphate. Okay. Very cool, very cool. Questions, nice. questions? You got ready to display. We did, um, so this is, I believe they got rid of the display just because of issues down the line. We wanted to make sure we're not running into any sort of quality issues, things like that. You take a display, put it in the sun, it's just never a, a, a good combination. You get the red uh, box display. Yep, yep, yep. You know, as you'll see with our inverters, we did the same thing there. One of these things to last longer. You all got... weather? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry. Yep. Excuse me? Sorry, I confused me. Another all weather has covers. Yeah, right, right. Covers. Yep, yep. So, uh,. That, no, I'm sorry. I spoke wrong there. This is the indoor unit. Okay. So the indoor condo box. Yes. This unit over here Good catch. is the all-weather unit. Good catch. I apologize, guys. So even guys. the indoor unit is losing the screen? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, so you have a status light, what's going on. It'll tell you everything so you don't have to pull off panels and things like that to see Did they make the status light on the outdoor any more visible so you don't yes. have to look at it from the side, pop the cover off? Yes. It's gonna. The only thing that'll be different, it's gonna sit above that logo, okay. instead of below it. Okay. This is a popular area. I apologize, you can't get in there. That's all right. Yeah. We'll come back later. So you're at, you're redoing. You have two 16 kilowatt hour batteries, one's an indoor, one's outdoor. Yep. Order. Yep. That's so much slimmer than the old outdoor battery. Yes. 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 Yep. Yeah. Higher. Smaller footprint, easier to throw more on the wall. Yeah. You know, not taking as much space in the house. So uh, right now we're doing kits from uh, across the pond for our 48 volt line. So the 12,000 XP on that other wall, it's already being assembled in the U.S. Yes. And then our, our final solution that's going to be completely sourced and assembled here in the U.S. is going to be the Nova ESS. So do you plan on that one being? Yes. Considered It'll be. assembled in the United States? No, manufactured, sourced, DCA compliant, everything. Yep. It's going to be a, it'll it'll be available for the forty percent tax credit at that point. So does that mean that that's the future and the forty eight volts is going to slowly be? For the next five years, we plan on continuing to operate with these forty eight volt inverters. Um, everything that we've done in the past, we're going to remain trying to be as competitive as possible. Cash customers, loan customers, this is your option. TPO customers, guys who are looking at doing some some larger scale stuff, the Nova ESS is going to be your solution there. So to expand the Nova system, do you have to just buy a whole other battery inverter stack, or can you get just batteries? You can parallel up to 16 of those units. You can go up to four of the batteries on one of those. Okay, so you can just get like that unit and then attach the yes. batteries to it? Yes, yes. Yep. Up to, to four. four. One unit? Four batteries. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry, what's the storage capacity, you know, like kilowatt hours? 16. Uh, the guys who are more focused on getting the tax credits and things like that back, and uh, you know, financing options are, are different than than of our traditional customer. Uh, that's going to be the solution over there for them. So we're kind of kind of addressing all of the markets now, instead of trying to take our solution and, and spread it out to everybody. Gotcha. Yeah, man. You got any plans for updating the three thousand? I have heard of that, uh, but I don't have anything in uh, in writing or, or anything in front of us right now. It's as as competition right now. There's some 5,000 watts out there. Yep. yep. It was a really good inverter. There's a reason we still still produce it, still move it. So it uh, it's got its. It does. Yeah. 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 I was hoping we were gonna. Do something else. Uh, happy with the yeah, yeah, yep, yep. So, definitely. has anything changed to the 48 volt inverter lineup this year? No, 
No, uh, still FlexPoss 21, FlexPoss 18. Yeah, the EMP hardened certification. You know that that is new. Uh, but but like I've, I've kind of always said that all of our inverters meet the meet the criteria there. We just originally sent the 18 kPV, and that's it. Um, but since seeing that that we're we're sending the other inverters as well off certification is that's that's exciting for us. So now you're getting more of these in the EMP hardening domain. Yep. Uh, I saw that was on yep. 18. Yep. What else? All of our inverters are going to be. So when you say EMP hardening, what what's the spec you're meeting from that? It's the quality of the internal components inside of the unit that certify it to be EMP hardened. So um, they've got to be able to take those high surges. Uh, and they got to be able to take them both both directions. Um, and, and to be honest, I'm I'm unclear on, on okay. what the other I know I've heard requirements are. There, there. The, the solar has a higher rating on the EMP hardening than the well, you know, if you can charge double for that, then then of course it should. Well, I just like to know what the explanation that is. Like, where you, I wish I had one. What they, how they get that claim? I wish I had one. Difference between hardened and proof, like EMP proof or EMP hardened, and what levels? I mean, if it, if an EMP drops off right there, yeah. know, I think everything's gone, right? So there's obviously levels. I don't have an answer there. I wish I did. No. That's just something people sometimes have been asked about. It's the difference between proof and yeah, hardened. Yeah. There's a lot of DIYers out there that are more. I also do want to follow up with your all of our inverters, or all the easy four inverters. Is that all of the, the boss level inverters? All of our inverters. So 6,000 XP, yes. 12,000 6 XP. 6,000 XP and up. Good. Yep. I can't speak the same about the the three thousand, uh, just because different partner there, uh, but six thousand and up, yes, every single one of them are. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I'd heard that. It's good. It's yep. good because yep. I currently still run six thousand. Perfect. It's a great inverter. Be sure to check out this video right here. It's going to be the next best video for you to watch. It's going to be James Showalter from EG4 actually explaining a little bit more about these products. It's really great. You're going to love it. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on this one.